guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be the best and worst luxury purchases of 2016. You have seen my collection grow, well, not really grow, but change so much over time. Usually when something doesn't work out in my collection and if I don't reach for it, I just end up selling it. Just because what's the point of keeping it if you know, that's just a lot of money sitting there and also someone else will love that item a lot more or at least make use of that item a lot more than I do. So I thought I would share with you guys uh, my best as in my, I guess my most favorite purchases, luxury purchases in 2016 as well as my worst but not really worst in the sense that they're bad more like that they didn't fit my lifestyle or that my lifestyle has changed such that uh, I don't really make use of them anymore. Huge, huge, huge favorite last year uh, is has to be my Chanel Jumbo Flap and this is the single flap and I I think if I got the regular uh, double flap, the one uh, that's sold at the uh, boutique currently, I wouldn't have loved it. In fact, it would probably have become my worst purchase. But because this one is a single flap, I just so, so, so love it. I also featured this bag and as well as some of the other bags I will show you later in my top five bags. It is so lightweight. I have an issue with heavy bags. And sometimes even though a bag is not necessarily heavy in weight, the way it's been carried or after you put stuff in it, the way it's carried and you know maybe it's the strap material or whatever, uh, it makes it feel heavy. It is a pre-loved bag because nowadays the single flap is no longer made in most classic flaps except for the minis. And so, uh, yeah, so I really, really love this bag. I reach for it so much ever since I got it. I just keep on reaching for it, whether I'm just dressed in t-shirt or just nicely. It goes well with almost all outfits. Uh, I would say the only exception is if I was wearing, say, my Helly Hansen or North Face jackets. Like, obviously those ones are so sporty, it doesn't really match. But who cares, if you really had to, you can still carry it. And for those of you who wondered where I got it, I do have a whole reveal video where I got this uh, jumbo flap. I did buy it pre-loved on the uh, Chanel Facebook website. There is a seller that I highly recommend. I will put all the links down below as well on all these bags that I will discuss. Like I said, anything that didn't work out in my lifestyle, I just eventually sold them or will be selling them. So another bag that is a large on the larger side that didn't really work for me is actually the Louis Vuitton Kensington. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. It's kind of like in between a tote and a handheld bag because it is open, so it's it kind of reminiscent of a tote. It does come with a removable shoulder strap. Uh, and the beautiful Toron and V detail. I got the Kensington because I wanted a tote that wasn't um, in Vaquera because I do have the Neverfull MM. I just wanted a tote that is weatherproof and that is, you know, can replace my Neverfull MM in Vaquera monogram when it rains so much because in Vancouver it rains a lot. And so um, I was debating between the Neverfull and Demi Ben and then uh, the Kensington because they're in the same print but so different design. So I went with the Kensington because it is different so I don't have a duplicate of a bag. I love the way it looks. I still love the way it looks on me but it just wasn't really a tote for me. It still, it fits a lot but it doesn't fit quite as much as a Neverfull. It's kind of like a bag where you want to handheld it because it looks gorgeous when you handheld it, although you can use a shoulder strap. But I just felt like it wasn't what I needed and I didn't end up reaching for it because I actually don't even use totes that often, as in I don't really use big bags that often. And so after a while, I just decided that, okay, it wasn't for me. It wasn't what I thought about. And throughout the year, I also realized that I'm really a small bag person, or at least I, I like lighter bags and I like smaller bags and I like to downsize. And I've learned to downsize so, so much that it just wasn't a bag that I felt like I needed in my collection. So I did let it go. My next bag is the Louis Vuitton Twice bag. This is such a great purchase. I love it so much. And I got mine through a personal shopper from Selfridges UK. And I, I know a lot of you want me to do a um, wear and tear review. So I will actually film a full 
on like full comprehensive review of this bag and show you all the wear and tear if there was any I don't actually know if there's any this bag totally suits my lifestyle it is small but it is big as in it is you know it, it's very thin and it has you know two main compartments the middle one is really just for really thin things um, like a card or a receipt um, but it fits so so much and the leather is just so good this leather is probably my favorite leather of uh, the Louis Vuitton uh, fashion house aside from their Torillon which is oh my gosh on the Gapsin and also at the time I was having some issues with my pochette mitsis and it like the uh, the glazing I had to get it repaired because of the glazing so I was kind of you know disappointed and also not necessarily looking for a replacement although that was kind of it kind of crossed my mind so I did uh, decided to go ahead and buy one of these and it was the best decision ever because I still love my Pusha Mitsus but I also really love this one this one does fit a little less and it's a little bit more flexible it's more squishy um, you know it can be super thin or it can be super bulky depending on what you fit inside basically whenever I just don't know which bag to wear I just go for this one unfortunately the bag that I thought was gonna be my Chanel holy grail did not work out it is the Chanel boy bag I did get it in the uh, black caviar and ruthenium hardware and it's so edgy and honestly I think it would look so good if I was wearing it with this outfit today and you know what if money was no object I would have kept it and I I still love the boy bag honestly, I, I'm not necessarily just a classic flap convert anymore. I, I really love all kinds of designs and I I want to not necessarily branch out a lot but I, I want to add more variety of different brands in my collection even though my favorite favorite is still LV and Chanel at the moment. Um, but yeah, the boy bag was a little bit of a disappointment I guess because... Um, I mean, I know that my mini is smaller than my boy bag, but I just felt like the boy bag, the way the inside, because the fabric is kind of like, it doesn't touch the bottom leather, so there's no structure to it. Like if you put stuff, it might kind of like, I don't know if you know what I mean, if it slides or it kind of, if you take out something, then it slides to the middle, like all the weight goes to the middle. For that amount of money, I was thinking no I want something that I will want to reach for a lot and so I did end up selling it and get my jumbo which was the best decision ever I did get the old medium size and I knew that old medium size was a good size because it as I was told it would fit more or less the same amount as a medium large classic flap or even more but it just I don't know I feel like a medium classic large because it is more structured the interior is more structured I feel like I I can work with that space a bit better whereas the the fabric lining inside the boy just I don't know makes your things go like this and I didn't like it I, I just I couldn't work with it so it's no longer with me I did sell it shortly after I got it but um, yeah that was quite a surprise and I guess sometimes that's just how things are you don't know until you get it and try it shocking revelation that I would actually enjoy this bag before I went ahead and purchased it uh, I asked so many friends because everybody got it before me um, and I have a, quite a few good friends that have this bag and they all tell me at the time I was debating between this and the Nano, the Celine Nano and they all tell me that they love both but they're really favoring this one more and they feel that it's more comfortable and they just want to reach for it and I didn't get it because I'm like thinking right thinking out loud logically the zipper opening kind of annoys me sometimes still to this day but it's actually okay um, because you could do all like you could really open it up all the way if you really needed to uh, but I was just thinking there's no way this small bag will you know will be loved so much uh, by myself but I decided to go ahead anyway because I did try it a few times I did say no a few times before I think the third time I went ahead and I did purchase it I just really like how it looks on me I just 
it fits me really well and it looks super cute and uh, it looks super cute on a lot of people honestly uh, I don't know you just look at it and you're just like so cute and I, I'm not the type of person who would just keep things if it's cute or if it's good looking because otherwise I would keep the boy right or I would keep any of the bags that I sold because they're all good looking but this one was not only just good looking I just I do actually reach for it quite a bit and I I do love wearing it so so much it is very squishy and it is like a good size it's small but it still fits a lot and i just love that i found this poof a lot of you guys ask me where i got it it's just from ebay i always put the links down below uh whenever i remember at least i i know i have the link of this little poof in my original video so i will remember i will try to remember to put it down below in this video as well so i don't know this bag has just been such a big surprise and it's just so squishy so cute and i know it was kind of like a trend the backpack trend but i feel like i because i'm using it as a handbag not so much as a backpack it's not necessarily going to be just a trend for me i will just keep on using it because it's just something different the moment you see it in person you grab it you put it on you you really love it you fall in love with it so i think that's kind of how this bag is also like you don't really you know you don't think that you will like it but the moment you put it on yourself the moment you wear it and you try it on you just really really love it so this was definitely one of my best purchases last year the toiletry uh 26 in ip leather uh, and I did uh, get it in the fuchsia and um, I've, I only had it for less than two weeks and I realized it wasn't for me and I had to return it. You guys saw my video where why I returned it. Um, it's just, I guess I needed a strap with it and although it looks super nice, super cool and the EP leather is like so nice in fuchsia color, um, it was just too heavy for me to carry long term. I just don't think that I will be able to survive long term without any sort of strap. I need some sort of strap or some sort of handle. I do mention that because sometimes I don't even use the strap on this guy. I love just, you know, carrying this by the handle because this handle is so well made. It's so ergonomic. Uh, and of course, because the bag is small, so it won't be it won't be so heavy. I mean, the max you can fill up is all the space that's in here, which is not that much. It's just like the size of my head. So with this handle and this bag, it just works out super well. But with the Toiletry 26, since I intended to use it as a clutch, it just didn't work out for me. And I know some of you told me to just keep it just to use it inside my bags or to use it for travel. But I don't know how many times I'm gonna travel per year, maybe once or twice. Uh, and I, if it's for a short trip, I don't really want to ruin the ippy leather just using it as a toiletry. So I didn't keep it. So that really didn't work for me as a clutch. But I know for a lot of you, it did. For me, it just didn't work. My arthritis is not really, you know, cooperating with me. Another one of my very surprising purchases that I end up loving so much is this card holder. And if you followed me for a while, you would know that I had such a sort of, mm, I, I wouldn't call it roller coaster, but it is kind of like a journey to find a card holder because I initially got the Chanel one, the flat Chanel one with the classic CC and quilted caviar. And it was lovely. I loved using it. I think that was the reason why I knew that card holder works for me. And ever since I got my card holder, the thin one, I, I didn't even go back to my Emily wallet. I just love using card holders ever since. Uh, except that my Chanel one had a default. It actually had a thread come out uh, within the first week. So I actually had to return it and they didn't have one for so long. So I just picked up this one because I did love the monogram print for a long time. Uh, you know, Chanel was just sort of higher on my list at the time. So anyway, after I got this one, I, I was really surprised how much I loved this one too. Uh, this one does fit less cards than the Chanel one because the Chanel one being full leather, it does expand a bit easier, I feel. And uh, with the Chanel one, you can double up on the outside slots. A lot easier when I say easier I mean by uh, you know 
taking cards out is easier. Have I given up on the Chanel one? Yes, just because I have this and I don't like to have too many multiples of everything. I feel like I'm not the type of person who likes to change out of wallet especially. Uh, I'm not super big on having so much or such a large collection of LCLG. Um, I would rather put that money towards bags or jewelry. So I really highly recommend this one. Either this one or the Chanel flat one is are both good. I feel like this one is more hard wearing. It really is it's really slim. This one is so slim, much more slimmer than the uh, Chanel one. And I can easily fit into any bags, literally any bags. Another purchase that uh, didn't quite work out for me are my Valentino flats. It's really sad because I love the Valentino flats, the look, the design, everything. Uh, Karis, LV lover CC, hi babe. She said it the best in her uh, luxury favorites video that um, she cannot live without. It's one of those shoes where it doesn't matter what you wear, you wear that shoe and everything, it makes your whole outfit. It's just like a Chanel classic flat or like a Chanel brooch would make your whole outfit. That's how I feel about them. And unfortunately, I didn't keep them because, um, I don't know, you guys know with me and my arthritis, they just aren't comfortable right off the bat. And I was too scared to keep them for the price. I wasn't willing to keep them and because they are flats, I intend to wear them very often. Since I couldn't wear them every day or often enough, then I wouldn't wear them and they weren't fancy enough for fancy events so I wouldn't wear them either so I did end up not keeping them and although I love the design um, I would probably not buy it again because I tried to buy again a second time and order maybe a different size or whatever it just it wasn't it, it didn't work out so and I know I wouldn't get the the higher heel or the kitten heel either because I would have to bend all the way down to tie them. I know a lot of you, you know, swear by the Valentino uh, flats. I'm just so jelly that you guys can, but um, yeah, I guess I will just keep on looking what kind of other designer pair of shoes that I can get. I know that the Chanel ones are looking promising. So we'll see in 2017. My best, 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 best accessory purchases of last year has to be all my jewelry from Chanel and LV. This is the Louis Vuitton UNICEF uh, silver locket necklace pendant and I absolutely love this. This is pure silver, well 92.5 and um, this, this piece is, I don't know, this piece beats any Tiffany for me. Perfect silver piece. I can literally wear it right now along with my choker. The chain is so strong and the pendant is such a good weight. You feel like you're wearing a good quality piece. And yes, it is just silver, and yes, it is you know, a higher price for a silver piece, but if I was gonna invest in any silver piece, you know, not fine gold or anything, I'd go for this. I highly recommend this. And I know that they just recently, not relaunched, but you know, they, they're reviving the whole like celebration for the foundation, so. I love, love, love this piece. I mentioned them a million times, <laughs> my Chanel jewelry, especially my brooches, uh, but also this pair of earrings. So like with the brooches, I only have two. These two are, they work with every single outfit I have. I mean, except if I was, you know, doing sports, but anything, anytime I wear black or gray, this works really well. Anytime I wear any other color, this works really well. So these two brooches are literally my life. They are my life. Like today, this one would work really well with this, you know. So they, I don't know. I love these two brooches. I will never sell these two brooches because, I don't know. These are just the perfect brooches in my collection. And if I was going to add any other brooches, I don't know if they can beat these two, honestly. But we'll see. I have three pairs of earrings from Chanel and I'm wearing one of them. These are the dangly ones. I love them. But I would have to say that this was the most surprising one. I guess I became a stud person ever since I got my diamond studs. I do love wearing my diamond studs on the daily. I really appreciate the classic and just the clean look of just wearing studs nowadays. And I don't necessarily always have to go with my long, you know, dangly earrings anymore. I just appreciate both styles. And these ones were such a surprise because of that. I guess I, you know, kind of discovered that this year that 
I, I love studs and these have become like everyday studs for me even though they are a little bit more blingy I guess than my diamond studs but um, they just work well with everything I just love 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 these and I highly recommend these if you just want one pair of Chanel earrings highly recommend these classic ones so that does it for my best and worst 2016 luxury purchases if you guys are wondering I am wearing the new extensions these are the Irresistible Me extensions. I love them. I only wore a few pieces, but it just gives me so much hair and it looks good on camera, so I keep wearing them. And I have my new choker and the iris watch. So I have videos on all of these. I will put all the links down below if you guys are wondering. Oh, of course, I have this beautiful uh, light colored pink shirt. These are the new signature t-shirts, Supima Cotton from Banana Republic. I will link all of them down below for you guys to check them out because I know you guys always ask. But other than that, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Amy and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye!